all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, soft rotors, crossovers and SUVs. Never before have there been so many options for people keen to get out and explore beyond a beaten track. To the point you could be forgiven for finding the current crop of off-road ready vehicles a little tough to come to grips with. Take these two for example, the new Toyota Kluga and the current Prado. There's lots of similarities on the surface and they're both really good road going family cars. They've also got drive lines that allow them to go off road in certain situations. But it's off road where these two Toyotas behave very differently. Sure they come from the same stable, but they're two different horses for two very different courses. The primary difference between the two is the Prado is four wheel drive, whereas the Kluger is all wheel drive. Four wheel drive uses a series of differentials, one for the front axle and one for the rear, with a third centre diff in between. It's a tried and tested design, essentially a mechanical system that relies on the driver to manually open or lock the centre differential, depending on the terrain. The Kluger's all-wheel drive is a bit more technical. In normal conditions, it's front-wheel drive but can adapt to slippery surfaces with an electromagnetically controlled coupling in the rear differential. This dynamic torque control system is completely computerised, responding to throttle and steering sensors to split the drive across the wheels with traction whilst applying brakes to those without. Whilst the Prado could handle just about anything that you want to throw at it, this is exactly the sort of road that the Kluger was designed for. Loose surfaces. And I'd argue that the Kluger's a better drive on this sort of road than the Prado. As long as it's not too rough, farm tracks, bush tracks, forestry trails, you're going to have a great drive. The three and a half litre V6 gets along nicely and it's well up to the task of towing the boat or caravan or just playing around in the dirt. One thing this Kluger does have is downhill assist and that's a really handy function. Basically, you give up control of the car. You just let it go away by itself and it controls the rate of descent. Pretty slowly, I might add. It's pretty nice, it's just a matter of pick your line and ease your way down the hill and let the car do all the work for you. It's clever technology, but for me, the smartest part is the way it works on the fly. In most cases, without the driver even knowing. Now the Kluger's features aren't just limited to going downhill, we've got a fantastic thing for going up hills called Hill Start Assist. And I'm going to stop the car right here on this really steep bit. And when we want to get going again, we don't have the normal problem where we take off backwards before we get on the accelerator pedal. So it puts off the brake and away we go. Just apply the power and that is beautiful. Now I've got two learner drivers at home who would absolutely love that feature. Of course, the advantage of these off-road systems is that they can also come in very handy on the bitumen, particularly in wet conditions. And it's worth mentioning that the new Kluger is available in all-wheel drive and two-wheel drive variants. You can take a closer look at the entire range at Motorama.